Mm -hmm. Raquel Fatiuk always wanted to be a mother. Growing up in a dysfunctional family, she hoped to provide a safe and loving environment for her child. She was 22 when her life changed dramatically. Somebody kind of just will put something in my drink. They think it was ketamine, um, which is the, the horse tranquilizer. Um, and then I ended up in this car. This person kept threatening me over and over because I kept screaming and said, you know, spread your legs or do you want to die? Not long afterwards, Raquel's then boyfriend also raped her and she decided 10 weeks into her pregnancy to get an abortion. So not only like seeing that person's face every day, but how do you explain that to that child that their father, the reason you know they were born is because their father violated their mother and took something from her. Raquel lives in Texas, where a new law bans most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy without any exceptions for rape or incest. Brian Hughes is the state senator who wrote the law, which is likely to start a national trend. So in a horrible, unspeakable situation like a rape, uh, I hope no one is suggesting that if a woman went through that, if she had an abortion, that would make everything okay. The women we've heard from, some who chose abortion and some who chose to keep the child, have all told us how difficult, what a hard situation that was. So we have a difficult situation already. Let's don't make it worse by punishing the child. We don't punish the unborn child. We punish the rapist. The anti-abortion law is specifically hard for women in Texas just because of the pure size of this state. Driving to a clinic in Arizona, for example, where abortion is still allowed might take up to 20 hours. That is not only adding extra costs, but making it extremely difficult for women who are without financial or emotional support. We drive for several hours within Texas to talk to a doctor facing death threats because he provides abortion services. He doesn't want to be identified. Sometimes women will try uh, self-induced stop abortion. We, so they will go to any type of extreme to go ahead and to see if they can, quote, abort themselves. And which would happen sometimes there can be basically, you know, uh, even uh, maternal uh, fatalities. And we have people on the outside who are judging these women and are telling these women what they, what they should do. If the current law had been in place when Raquel was raped 10 years ago, it is very likely that she would not now be living a happy and independent family life. Right. I think we go.